CN Tower is seen from the waters of Lake Ontario. Along with the rest of beautiful downtown Toronto, our setting today. Well, the weekend obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Star players move around more than ever, it seems, but guys like Damian Lillard are emulating legends like Dirk Nowitzki, who stayed put in Dallas his whole career. Dame said, I'm not loyal to a fault. I'm loyal to the person that I am. I want this city to feel what it's like winning the championship after such a long time. Kevin? He stays working and stays true. David, thank you. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Damian Lillard. And right now, he's in one of those grooves where he has a tremendous feel for the game. His assist numbers these past five look a lot different than from the rest of the season. And by different, I mean better. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Giles, and it's Powell in at the three. And for Toronto. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Then there's Chris Boucher. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Trent in at the two. And Doris tonight, two experienced teams will be battling. Well, what you come to expect with experienced rosters are excellent defensive rotations, game plan discipline. These guys know how to play the game. So let's see how this plays out. Lillard from outside. And he's good on the three ball. Awesome form on the triple Lillard with textbook technique. And here is Van Vliet. To the paint, here's Trent. And McCollum with the block. And they'll keep possession. Siakam, good. And here are the trailblazers now. Here's Lillard. Who's coming off a 25-point game against the Heat in Miami. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not forget that. He was flawless passing the ball. What strength from Lillard. Just not allowing the defense to have the last word. Here's Siakam. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the call. Portland the foul. I mean, the improvement that we've seen from Siakam it's like nothing else I've ever seen. He's a huge reason for the success of this Raptors team. Greg, in two short years, this guy triples his output oh, from the floor. Break, he goes from a guy who was getting two spot shot. minutes, couldn't really get into the rotation, to an all-star. The transition game, his ability to use that speed, and then his approach, the work habits, both of those two things have been critical to his growth. And he makes the first. Well, Greg, Pascal Siakam won most improved player in the league in 2019. And as we've talked about, had a case for it again in the 2020 voting. I tell you, Siakam's play jumped so much again. He deserved the recognition. He continued to press himself to be an elite forward. Rare for a former MIP winner to even be considered for the award more than once. And I'll tell you guys, the leap that Pascal Siakam has taken has really been fun to watch. From role player to emerging star, and guys, he's not done growing yet. That one wide left. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Now here's Lillard. Five points in the game. Kicks it out to McCollum. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Houghton with and without the ball. McCollum is a tremendous spot-up shooter. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. Inside. And finished off by Siakam. Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Here's Lillard after the Raptors pick up two. 
Basket good. No excuse giving Lewis that kind of positioning. That's just too easy. The Raptors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Passes to on and over. Siakam outside. Down low. And finished off by Siakam. Well, the wingspan of Pascal Siakam makes that dunk look easy. And here on the first, approaching three minutes played. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. Powell with it. Here's Nurkic. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. How about five straight made from the field to start? And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. Last time they met was in Portland this season. And, you know, they played a terrific all-around game. The effort level was there as well as the production. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was hard to imagine them being much better at the offensive end. They were so efficient in almost every aspect. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game, and they didn't do that defensively. One thing you know, Greg, is you've got to pack your defense in the suitcase if you're going to win on the road, and they simply did not bring it. And that one, good. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Toronto trailing. The pass to Boucher. Van Vliet against Lillard. And Van Vliet, here we go. Nurkic with the block. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Nurkic. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Siakam passes to Van Vliet. They get the rebound on an Obi. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. To the middle. Here's Powell. Lays it up and banks it in. Offensively, McCollum sees the floor well. Not surprised to see him spot the open teammate. The Raptors have gone 6-9, shooting it well. Siakam with it. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. Boucher's shot is off. And oh, here we go. McCollum's got it. The fast break chance. Lillard misses. Toronto's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. To the inside. Nurkic with the steal. Now McCollum. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. Drills the three-pointer. McCollum's got six points. I don't think the range surprises anyone anymore. CJ can shoot the lights out from any position. Now, here is Siakam. He's got 12. Inside, here's Boucher. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free-throw line. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent take a break take a break two shots And he knocks down the first one. Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. A system change would come typically with a coaching change. 
And the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster and, and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. Whatever your system is, it's got to be catered to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around. And I think that's what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Trailblazers have gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. Ananobi against Powell. McCollum outside. Six on the shot clock. Now, here's Ananobi. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. It's McCollum on the wing. Portland, no good that time either. In Toronto, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field to begin the game. Van Vliet wide open. Again, Toronto. Well, because of his high basketball IQ, Fred Van Vliet understands catch and shoot. I'm shot ready. Jumper in. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. They trail by one. Lillard, the pass to Giant. And it's McCollum off the drive. Giles, that's good. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Toronto's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Trent. 14 points from him the last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. Yeah, don't forget uh, how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. And no stopping Lillard. Excellent at staying in control no matter what the D throws at him. Well, you look at the career that Dame Lillard has had so far. Taken sixth in the 2012 draft out of Weaver State, a small school, but this guy became a franchise player immediately for the Blazers. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Zeller, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Robert Covington comes in for Harry Giles. And Hollis Jefferson subbed in for Powell. The free throw drops for Lillard. And thinking of Lillard, the numbers over his career are incredible. And Lillard found his strength as a shooter, and boy, did he exploit it. He's been averaging 20 points per game almost his entire career, and he's kept adding to his game as one of the elite players in our league. So timeout called here, the first for Toronto. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Raptors trail by four. Pass to Birch. And here's Dragic. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And we've seen Dragic do this for many years, fighting his way through contact to make plays. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. one falls for Dragic. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. Well, just a little too physical out there right now. That's already his second foul. And Toronto making a change here. Flynn's checked in. McCollum outside. And that one drops. And with that great handle and high basketball IQ, McCollum remains a lethal pick-and-roll option. Dragic with it. Pass to Birch. Back to Dragic. Oh, 
Good work defensively by Lillard. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Covington shot is off. Raptors trail by three. To the paint. Here's Birch. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Rogic against Zeller. Rogic dishes to Flynn. Just five on the clock. Over in the corner, Decker. And the Raptors miss again. Trailblazers leading by three. Over to the wing. The shot by Lillard wide open. For the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Lillard's got 15 points. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. Rockets the pass to Birch. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. And it's Dragic with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Simons, he's checked in for Portland. Hollis Jefferson, the bounce pass. Here's Simons. It's hauled in by Achua. Raptors trail by four. To the inside. That one's not going to go. Good D by Covington. Portland's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. And it's Simons missing. Toronto's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Achua, the pass to Flynn. Kicks it to Dragic. And stolen by Lillard. Unhindered, going all the way. Good. And the Trailblazers lead by six. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. And the Raptors call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. All right, a chance to look at the stats for Lillard. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. He's been getting about 37 a night, nine assists, and three rebounds. And what is crazy is that these numbers might not even do his game justice. He's, he's been phenomenal. Feels like every night this guy does something that just blows your mind. So fun to watch someone the other players look up to. And, and already it's taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. No clue how he got that one to fall. Greg, you and I talk about the big man, his role in the current NBA, and how they can possibly carry the standard for the great centers before them. Find you the played lane. with the great one, and, the and Patrick Ewing, so you have a great appreciation, I would, I would think, for it. Oh, no doubt about it. And, and I think two guys kind of separated themselves a little bit. Uh, Nikola Jokic and, and Joel Embiid, I, I think, are the two guys that stand out for me because of their ability, in, in essence, to do everything well. They can shoot it. They pass it. They can shoot it from the free throw line. They give you rim protection. Uh, I, I throw Rudy Gobert up there as an elite center as well. Doesn't have the offensive impact that those guys have, but he does impact the game as well. Three young, dynamic centers. Those are good names. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Passes it to Birch. Over in the corner, Decker. Shoots over Hollis Jefferson. Decker can't hit. Trailblazers leading by six. And it's Hollis Jefferson with the jam. Well, to me, this is what Hollis Jefferson does very well. This guy, a phenomenal dunker with the ups he has. The pass to Achua. Back to Flynn. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
and now a look at the point guards who have been taking matters into their own hands this past month. These are the top scorers at their position. Damian Lillard, number one. And you can't say enough about the value of a player like him. I mean, who can attack a defense in so many different ways from the point. You know, that is the key with him. With that offensive versatility that he has, he can play the role of floor general, distribute the basketball, keep the offense flowing. But when he needs to break down the defense all on his own, he's a powerful scorer. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Simons. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Outside Covington. With some arc. A nice shot by Simons. And the Trailblazers lead by eight. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Rogic, the pass to Flynn. Back to Drogic. To the middle. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. And, and tremendous fundamentals from Drogic. Running the pick and roll to perfection. And uh, 101 left here in the opening quarter. Here's Simons. And it's in there. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Raptors trail by eight. Now Decker. Pass to Achua. The dunk by Achua. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two hand jam. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the first. Outside Covington. Here's Simons. Five on the clock. Down low. Hollis Jefferson. Good. Hollis Jefferson's got six. Well, the heart of Hollis Jefferson just incredible. This guy finishes despite the tremendous contact. Outside Dragic. Got it off in time. And so it's Portland holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Greg, we know many guys in the NBA have range, but Damian Lillard's range, wow. He discusses with us his deep, deep shot. When I'm training in the summer, um, before practice, after practice, pregame, these are the shots that I'm taking. And I think when you spend so much time doing it, it becomes a quality shot for you right. when you put the time in. And if it wasn't a comfortable shot and a shot that I felt like I could knock down comfortably, I wouldn't take it. The team seems to support, Greg, that philosophy 100%. The game has changed. Some guys would rather take a few steps back to get a cleaner look. Lillard being one of them. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And take a look at the Trail Blazers performance here, boys. Uh, what do you think they're doing or not doing? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And a few of those led to quick scores at the other end. Really active first quarter for them. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Portland, Garrett Jones is out there with Hollis Jefferson. 
Then there's Norman Powell. Then it's Zeller, and it's Simons in at the point. The Trailblazers have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And that one falls for Zeller. Around the free agent race last year, for your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Oof. Oh, wow. I, I tell you what, it's, <laughs> it's a I tough just, call. You know, that Kawhi's is, that is. got a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. Kyrie's got a ring. I, it, it's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a, I think it's a toss-up, partner. I agree. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you. Now here's Dragic, Boucher, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Portland leading by five. Here's Simons. Pass to Nurkic. Feeds it to Jones. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Trailblazers lead by seven. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Van Vliet looking around. And stolen by Zeller. Here's Simons. He's guarded by Dragic. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Simons, the pass to Nurkic. Just a load. I mean, at seven feet, Nurkic also moves well, and that combo gets him to the line a bunch. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First one falls for him. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Giles has checked in. And both free throws good for Nurkic. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Here's Van Vliet. Rebound by the Trailblazers. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota where they'll take on the Timberwolves. And that's the final game of this five-game road run for the team. Here's Powell. A second-chance effort. And Nurkic lays it in. Nurkic has got the lead up to 11 now for the Trailblazers. And this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points. Staying active even after the shot goes up. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for Anferni Simons. Here's Van Vliet. 26 points for him last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. Hey, but it didn't deter him from attacking defensively. His pressure was terrific. He also got three steals in that game. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Powell down low. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Heat in Miami. Well, Norman Powell, these last several seasons, has turned himself into a knockdown shooter. And obviously, last season, much more involved on the offensive end. And that 
to me, was his best performance to date. McCollum feeling it out a bit. Giles kicks to McCollum over Trent. They get a bet and finished off by Nurkic. Yeah, you can't allow Nurkic to get that kind of position. When you do, he is going to rattle that rim. And with Powell, they rely on his shooting to open things up for everyone else. Yeah, and for Norman Powell, he knows what he's about and welcomes that role. This is a guy who understands how to relocate in the midst of plays to create separation from defenders. He's always ready in catch-and-shoot situations. Siakam pulls it in. Raptors trail by nine. Here's Trent. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Portland. Now here's Powell. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. Offline with his three. The Raptors have gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Van Vliet finds Siakam over McCollum. That one's in there. The Trailblazer lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Siakam. Well, he's had terrific momentum all game. Pascal Siakam in his bag offensively. Now here's McCollum. Eight points for him. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. Shots good by Siakam. And now just a five-point Portland lead. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And here are the Trailblazers now. And here's McCollum. He's one of the better scorers in the league, averaging almost 25 points a game. Ananobi against Jones. Lock at six. Powell down low. Nurkic the pass to Powell. Passes it to McCollum. Portland again missing. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. OG Ananobi is tremendously athletic, and when he plays with this level of aggression, it's hard not to foul him. The Raptors have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, what you know is OG Ananobi has certainly seen a lot of the world. This young man born in London, moved to Missouri as a young man, goes to Indiana University, and then gets drafted by Toronto. That's country to country, folks. Lillard's checked in for the Trailblazers. And so he makes both from the line. McCollum with the ball. Eight points for him. And the pass to Nurkic. Pass to Powell. Six to shoot. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. See, the athleticism of Norman Powell is a problem. This guy understands how to get defenders committed to him. The Trailblazers have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And he knocks down the first one. Well, one thing that there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting.
He's perfect from the line this time. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Van Vliet against Lillard. And Siakam throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Portland leading by three. Lillard, the pass to Giles. For three. And it's Lillard missing. Here's the Raptors with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Shots good by Siakam. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Portland's gotten a lot of looks right side tonight. Five of 12. Cullen passes to Giles. Three-pointer Lillard. It's hauled in by the Raptors. He started the game scorching the Nets from deep. Three triples in the first period, but none here in the second. Siakam's shot is off. Portland's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. He gets that one. McCollum's got 10. Well, you love to see Norman Powell be unselfish and find an open teammate. That's pretty. Raptors trail by three. Inside. Here's Ananobi. And that one goes long. And so Lillard will bring it up for Portland. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's McCollum. Nurkic trying to get open. And the basket by McCollum. 12 points for him. Nice touch there from McCollum. Looking comfortable and confident from that range. Siakam deciding where to go with it. There's the triple. Boucher's shot is off. Portland leading by five. Now Powell. Pass to McCollum. Back to Powell. Here's Nurkic. That one, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Coming off that loss against the Nets. Painful to watch, guys. You could see the frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. The Trailblazers have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. throw good Giles so both teams changing it up here so he gets them both here's Siakam 20 points for him They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Score the basket for his 10th make. 10 for 12. 83% accuracy. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Trailblazer. McCollum outside. Lillard outside. This one for three. Birch grabs the board. Rano shooting in an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. Back to Siakam. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. And he makes the first. Wearing the number zero for a reason. Damian Lillard has it on his back for his city, Oakland. Just the latest star from the town. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. 
Achua comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Drogic in for Fred Van Vliet. Second free throw, no good. Raptors trail by six. The kick out to Drogic. The shot's good on the assist by Flynn. Drogic has got his second bucket tonight. Normally, it's Drogic providing the pass. Good to see him getting fed this time. Now here's McCollum. He's got 12. Hollis Jefferson passes to Giant. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Toronto's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. It's a close game here in Toronto. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. And the officials call a traveling violation. So for the Trailblazers, Zeller, he's checked in for Harry Giles. And it's Simons in for C.J. McCollum. And here is Flynn. Passes it to Achua. Dishes it to Dragic. Here's Achua. Over in the corner, Decker. Just five to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Robert Covington picks one up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Raptors haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And it's tied up with that one. Here's Simons. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Down low. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Simons surveying the D to stop the run. Robinson trying to break free. And Damian Lillard with the jam. A guy who spaces the floor, but also willing to attack the rim. Lillard has confounded the defense all night. There's the pass to Achua. Back to Dragic. Hollis Jefferson with it. Now guarded by Dragic. It's three on three on the fast break. And a deep three from Lillard. Toronto grabs the miss. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Indoors with Rondé Hollis Jefferson, it's more than just stats. The guy is just so active when he's on the floor. That's right, Greg. It's the hustle and the movement he plays with that are really the strengths. Only 6'6", but it feels like he can play above that size. Great energy guy to bring off the bench. And if you need him because of injuries or fill-in spots, he can start and be productive. So it's Toronto now. The Blazers getting the bucket. Here's Flynn from down in the low post. It goes. Flynn's got it all tied up now for the Raptors. Fifty-nine seconds left here in the second. Lillard outside. Fires from deep. But they'll get another chance. Simons takes it out to Covington. No good on the three. Toronto's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Decker passes to Dragic. Toronto working the ball around now. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Dragic has got the lead up to two now for the Raptors.
there's 25 seconds left to play here in the second quarter and that one's good Lillard Lillard's got 23 I tell you what it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat Dragic against Lillard Dragic with it right wing shoots it off target from the wing boy he really wanted that shot trying to make the defense pay for leaving him that wide open Pascal Siakam getting it done for the Toronto Raptors and of everything he's doing well it's his scoring that you point to first already 22 points in this game and now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline all right Dave Kevin thanks here with coach Terry Stotts coach it's a hard game so far going into the second half what will you tell your team we just gotta compete you know keep uh, competing trust each other make plays all right, Coach, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first half was all about Pascal Siakam. He ended up with 22 points. Well, the former most improved award winner, Pascal Siakam, still improving. Kenny, how did Siakam go from role player to all-star so quickly? Adding a three-pointer to his game. But then the opportunity, he's getting more touches now with the new lineup, the new team, uh, new team construction, and uh, he's putting it to work. And after Kawhi left Toronto, Siakam's role expanded. He's now the first option. You know what I mean, 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 mean. Okay, what does that mean? Nothing. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. You talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then there's Chris Boucher. And it's Trent in at the two-guard spot. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. But boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Basket good. McCollum's got 14 points for the game. And give McCollum credit. It's big for his confidence when he's able to muscle these shots in. Siakam up top. The rebound by Giles. Giles has got seven rebounds in the game. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That is his first foul of the game. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense, and that is one heck of a rejection right there. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Fred Van Vliet. And his scoring numbers have been going in the right direction these past few years. He's gotten better and better at handling what those opposing defenses are throwing his way and, and finding ways to get his points all over the floor. Here's Trent. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. Powell pulls it in. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. The Raptors have gone 0 for 3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Boucher kicks to Ananobi. Pass to Trent. Oh, 
six on the shot clock. From deep, kept alive. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Lillard outside. He kicks to McCollum. Pass to Powell. Here's Giles. Here's a look at what's coming up for Toronto. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Thursday, the San Antonio Spurs come into town, tipping off a homestand for them. And that game against the Wizards, they have that date circled. Take they break. love Take to compete, break. and they Two feel shot. they can play very well against that group if they can execute. Free throw good, Giles. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Raptors. A two-point game. To the paint, Boucher passes to Van Vliet and stolen by Lillard. The three. Trailblazers keep it alive. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a Fingertip touch on the ball. Now, here's Siakam. He's got 22. Now how about the bounce of Pascal Siakam off the dribble drive? A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Lillard looking around. McCollum kicks to Lillard. Powell, no one around him. And the three off target. The Raptors have gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. And finished off by Siakam. Now there's elite athleticism by Pascal. Siakam makes that easy work. Portland's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Boy, plenty of time left in the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. Jones checked in for Portland. Nurkic he's got eight Lillard from outside sinks the triple Lillard's got 26 and part of what makes Dame special he can pour it in working off the ball rare to see a point guard who finds points without the rock in their hands Last break here come the trailblazers and the dunk by Powell well that's why they're in front aggressive play at both ends nicely done Raptors trail by five Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Back to Van Vliet. Pass to Trent. Shot clock at six. Now here's Van Vliet. 
Nurkic with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Goran Dragic is checked in for the Raptors. Portland leading by five. Cullen passes to Lillard. From deep three-point range, Boucher with the rebound. Boucher has got his eighth rebound here tonight. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down. And an OB in the corner. Now the pass to Siakam. And finished off by Siakam. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. The Trailblazers have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Lillard finds McCollum. Pass to Powell. Lillard with it. He's guarded by Dragic. And it's Lillard missing. Raptors trail by three. Ananobi, good. Ananobi's got eight points. Well, OG Ananobi is just continuing to add to his skill set. Nice finish on the interior. Now Lillard. He's got 26. Shot from the top of the key. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Siakam's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Over to the left wing. They double team Siakam. For the lead, Powell with the steal. Fast break. Here come the Trailblazers. And a wide open look for McCollum. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. What a professional. McCollum's reliability on offense is such a gift to his team. Out to the wing. Here's Van Vliet. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Lillard. He's in rare territory with those scoring numbers. It's not often we talk about a player averaging over 35 points a game. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. For viewers, timeouts, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink. But for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Achua, he's checked in for Chris Boucher. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Cody Zeller's checked in for Nurkic, and Robert Covington subbed in for Lillard. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And that's 18 points for C.J. McCollum. And that's an element McCollum brings to their offense, the ability to drain the outside shot. It stretches the defense and makes them keep bodies on the perimeter. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam, using some muscle, some urgency from him there. Sure. Trailblazers have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. McCollum dishes to Powell. Back to McCollum. And it's out of bounds to Portland. No retained possession. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown of some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. And you look at Ananobi. Some might say he's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Hey, stranger things have happened, and we'll just have to wait and see. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing you already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, and I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. That 
one drops. He ties it up. Not a different look now for Portland. Hollis Jefferson comes in for Jones. And it's Simons in for Norman Powell. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Boy, the missed free throw there, keeping this game at even. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. Hollis Jefferson kicks to McCullough. And there's the call on Precious Achua. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Toronto on defense. Here's Simons. Covington wide open. He fires. Here's Zeller. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And the Trailblazers lead by two. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Uh, just for this trip to the line, I'll call him by his full name. Frederick Edmund Van Vliet Sr. Had to get that in there. Now we can just go back to Freddie V. Now here's McCollum. 18 points for him. Here's Covington. Sinks that one from the post. Covington's got his first two points of the night. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. And you look at Robert Covington, first team all defense in 2018, the, the kind of versatile stopper that every team in the league could use. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Portland's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Zeller passes to Simons. Trying to find Covington, gets it to him, and the dunk by Covington. Well, you have to love an authoritative finish, and Mr. Covington leaves no doubt. And Covington may be not a star, but he's a winning player. We've seen that. And the perfect example of that 3 and D role player can guard four or five positions and can definitely sling it from outside. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Here's McCollum. On the wing. And a little luck that time, but it drops. McCollum's got 20. Toronto trailing. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got nine. Pass to Achua. Now, here's Ananobi, covered by Hollis Jefferson. Five to shoot. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. No good with the wing jumper. And for Portland, they're shooting it quite well in this third quarter. 53%, and the offense is rolling. Guys, some great passing from them. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Dragic has gotten five shots to fall in eight attempts. Covington passes to McCollum. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. Passes it to Simons. It's hauled in by Achua. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Siakam and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on C.J. McCollum. 
Now Pascal Siakam looking aggressive and determined which forces the defender to commit the foul. First free throw is good. Some changes for Toronto. Cam Burge is checked in for Ananobi. And Decker subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And a switch here also for Portland. Giles is checked in. Siakam hits them both. Trailblazers trail by three. McCollum outside. Shot high post. Unable to get that one. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Nuggets looking it over. The pass to Decker. Here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. 151 left in the third quarter. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. McCollum left side. And here's Covington from the arc. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That's his fifth foul. The Raptors making a switch here. Trent's checked in. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. And a moment here to check out the stats for Hollis Jefferson. How his last 10 games have gone. He's around six points per game, three rebounds, and two assists. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night it's your night, another night perhaps it's somebody else's. Giles in the corner. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Giles has got 10. And Toronto has possession. Three-point lead. Here's Trent. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Decker passes to Birch. Goes up on the block. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one drops. And Portland making a change here. Lillard's check in. And good on the second. So he makes them both. 55 seconds left to play here in the third. Pass to Zeller. The dish to McCollum. Six on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, you can see the basketball IQ of Hollis Jefferson on display. He senses the foul coming, goes straight into it. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And they have really leaned on his free throw shooting 
at times this season. He's been there for them, too, with 88% from the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. One of the things you have to love about Hollis Jefferson is his energy. You know he's going to give you everything he's got on a night-by-night -night basis. And Toronto making a change here. Boucher is checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Toronto leading by three. Right side, Dragic. 26 seconds left in the third. Pass to Decker. Down to five on the shot clock. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. A three from McCollum. They get the rebound with the second effort. Kicks it out to Lillard. And he hits it to tie the game up. Lillard's got six here in this quarter. And we've seen Lillard hit that shot before. He has no fear when it comes to the deep three. That's the end of the third, and it's all tied up. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the floor for Portland, Roman Powell is out there with Damian Lillard. Then it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Then it's Zeller. And it's Giles in at the four. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. One falls and that puts him up by one point. You know, he couldn't make all of them, and they'll have to settle for just a one point lead. Here's Trent, guarded by Powell. With the putback, Zeller grabs the board. The Trailblazers shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Hollis Jefferson, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, I'll tell you, excellent job from Hollis Jefferson. This guy's so skilled at getting terrific position down low. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. So credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Here is Lillard. Let's it fly. Second chance shot. Hollis Jefferson kicks to Giles. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. In Toronto, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And it's Dragic off the drive, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Good at forcing the issue on the drive. When Dragic attacks like that, it forces the D to react.
First free throw is good. Use of Norkic. He's checked in for Cody Zeller. Both free throws good from Dragic. Portland trailing here. Lillard with it. Passes it to Nurkic. It's deflected, and he recovers it. A physical big. Nurkic embracing, going up, and attracting the contact when he's trying to score. Shooting two. Free throw good, Nurkic. And he can't hit the second. Mm, that will sting a little bit. Failing to get the lead when the opportunity was there. But he does tie it up. Outside Dragic to the inside. Nurkic with the steal. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Defense is right there. Hits it from three-point range. Lillard's got nine points now in just the second half. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. And it's blocked. Reverses Birch, and the layup falls. Portland leading. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Three-pointer Lillard. But they recover it. And that's a nice job on the offensive glass there. That, that'll let them work the clock even more. Here's Birch. And there's the pass to Trent. Takes the 13-footer. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. The shot by Powell, no good. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. OG Ananobi's checked in for the Raptors. CJ McCollum, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. falls so he hits both of them you want to contest this guy's shot but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line he will make you pay baggage against Lillard pass to Trent and here's Decker there's Kragic with the three it's hauled in by the Trailblazers Giles has got 10 rebounds here tonight so active Lillard from deep three-point land. Here's Nurkic. Kicks it to Powell. Shoots the three. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Trailblazers lead by six. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Here's Trent. 
over in the corner Decker here's Boucher and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two it's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic First one falls. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Goran Dragic. He's perfect from the line this time. Trailblazers leading by four. Pass to McCollum. Back to Lillard. Toronto grabs the miss. Just a cold shooting night. Needs to try to make it into the basket. Van Vliet outside. Here's Siakam. And again, no good by Toronto. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Shot from 16, and it goes down two points. McCollum's got 10 points here in the second half. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night, so as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Siakam passes to Boucher, shoots over Nurkic. Boucher kicks to Siakam. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. We have seen Pascal Siakam's confidence improve dramatically. This guy is becoming a problem as a scorer. The first one falls for him. Siakam hits them both. Portland leading by four. Now Lillard. And Nurkic has it in the corner. And there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That will be foul number five on him. against Lillard. Passes it to Powell. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his sixth assist on the night. Uh, yeah, no question who's been the aggressor on the offensive glass. They double-team Siakam. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Well, the increased playmaking ability of Pascal Siakam on display. Pretty pass. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. It's a five-point game. Giles, the pass to McCollum. Powell for three. And the Trailblazers, another three. You know, I thought in the first half, this guy was pressing. He was rushing. Now he's settled into the game. Three-pointer, Lillard. Bangs home the trifecta. And now it's an 11-point Portland lead. And until he cools off, I'd keep the ball in his hand. Van Vliet against Lillard. Van Vliet with the bucket. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Now here's McCollum. Oh, yeah. 
Boucher with the rebound. The Raptors have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. That's the time to go cold. And finished off by Siakam. Well, OG and Anobi is going to continue to develop his game. And that pass, that was pretty. Trailblazers leading by seven. Now a timeout called by Portland. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Damian Lillard. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Terry Scott talk to his team during that timeout. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. And see if they were listening, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And here is Van Vliet. The pass to Boucher. To the middle. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Siakam. He is just self-willing, his team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. Van Vliet against Lillard. Pass to Giles. Lillard outside. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Van Vliet. And now Siakam pushing it up and no one back to stop him. Now there is such length and fluidity. Pascal Siakam opportunistic on the drive. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Really getting after the defense since the break. He's so hard to keep off the line when he pushes the action. And a deep three from Lillard. The Trailblazers with a new shot clock. Nurkic. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Yeah, they're starting to go in the wrong direction in terms of turnovers. It's slowly becoming a problem. Raptors trail by six. Van Vliet passes to Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. And for Portland, they're shooting 40% in the fourth. And a deep three from Lillard. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. In Toronto, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Van Vliet attacking. Pass to Trent. Van Vliet against Lillard. And stolen by Lillard. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. Raptors trail by six. 
Siakam outside. Passes to Boucher. A three-pointer, no good. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. The free throw drops for Lillard. Both good from the line that time. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Raptors. And there's the pass to Boucher. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And the foul called on OG and an OB. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus and we'll go to the line to shoot two. Trailblazers leading by eight. McCollum with the ball. Pass to Giles. Two points. That one goes. And the Trailblazers lead by 10. Looking back at McCollum's breakout third year, yeah, the scoring skyrocketed, but that assist rate went up as well. Effective as a decision maker. And the Raptors call time here. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. Toronto's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Van Vliet outside. They get it again. Shots good by Boucher. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Trailblazers leading by 8. Here's Lillard. And the shot goes down. Lillard's got 41. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Nurkic. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Now Siakam. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. That one, no good. Now Portland takes it the other way. Powell for three. Nurkic kicks to Powell. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. And the Raptors making a change here. Flynn's checked in. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Goran Dragic is checked in for Toronto. He hits both from the strike. Raptors trail by 14. Siakam outside. Dragic left side. Here's Boucher, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Boucher's got eight here in the quarter. Here's the Trailblazers with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. McCollum against Dragic. 
And the basket by McCollum. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Trailblazers. The blocking really turned things into their favor this time. Great timing, anticipation. They got the blocks, and that definitely changed the momentum of this game. And you can mark this one down in the W column. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Damian Lillard. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Now McCollum after the miss three from Goran Dragic, and it's blocked. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. And we don't normally see Dragic inside, but credit to the Slovenian for not shying away from the trees. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. Eight seconds left to play here in the fourth. Now here's Moutier. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. And do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes, like every other basketball team does. But I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.